Okay. We did IXL AA dot, eighth grade AA dot two in class, not dot Z, but dot two. Um, so make sure you do that. Get to 70%. Um, 80, you get one extra credit. 90, you get. Um, 90, you get three, and 100, you get six. So that's how you do that. And now you do this here. And you do that there. Do that there. And here's num this one. And elimination, we did that. And number four, we did elimination also. And then um, we did this example. Now, example five goes to example six. Example six, all you need to do is this, you need to do exact same thing for these two as you do for the rest of the all of them, okay? Um, same way. Um, and the only difference is, is for this one, you need to draw in your line of best fit. Some of you may have different lines, so you'll have different equation, okay? So depending on where you draw your line, um, either here, 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 like this, your equation will all be different. So um, I would start with the y-intercept. Uh, that's about, it's counting by 2, 4, 6, 8. That's 10. So I'm going to estimate it to be 10. It's close enough. Estimation um, doesn't have to be exact. So the y-intercept is 10. Okay, now we need to find slope. Because we need to write a line y equals to mx plus b, so we got 10 as a y-intercept, so we need to find m here. We need to find our slope, so I'm going to erase this here and do the slope down here. And slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Um, so I'm going to choose 4 and this number here. I'm going to estimate that. That's 8. I'm going to estimate that to be 9. So 4 and 9. Okay, so then I'm going to use 0 and 10. That's your, my first set of ordered pair, first set. So I label 1, y1. And this is my second one, I label 2. So 9 minus 10. 9 minus 10. That is a negative 1 over um, 4 minus 0, which is 4. So my answer is negative 1 4. That's my slope because the equation is y equals to mx plus b. And b is 10. We got that. And slope is negative 4. And don't forget the x right next to it. That's your equation of that line. Okay, you again, you may have a different um, equation based on your line. All every student will have a different line depending on where they draw it. And this is going to be my line, my y intercept. Again, it's counting by two, so my y intercept is 0, 1, or just 1, right? So I'm going to put here y intercept. So y equals to mx plus b. So b is already a plus 1. And now I just need to find my m, right? I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to choose another point. Well, I'll just choose this one. Let's go in my 2, 4, 6. That's 6 and 6. Okay, this is x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. 6 minus 1, so y equals is 5, and then and 6 minus 0, 
not negative 6, 6 minus 0 is 6, so you got 5 over 6x. That's your equation of that line, that's your slope. Okay, again, um, draw your line of best fit, and then use a different color, let's say blue. Um, I'm going to use 0, 0, and then I'll use 6, and this number, it's going up by 2, 4, 6, this number 7, so 6 and 7. So, again, it's x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. My y-intercept is 0, 0 right there, so the y-intercept is 0. And then, and remember the equations, y equals mx plus b, y equals 2, um, m, m stands for slope, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over y intercept, so it's plus 0 right there. I forgot to do that. X1. Um, so 7 minus 0 and 6 minus 0. So 7 over 6 is your slope. Equation of a line. Okay, same thing here. I hope you're getting this. Your slope will be different than mine depending on what number. So my y-intercept is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, um, so 19, 0, 19. That's my y-intercept. Okay, so y-intercept is 19. Um, an equation is y equals to mx plus b. y equals to 19 for b. We need to find m. m is equal to y sub. Let's not do it on there. I got plenty of room here. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I'm going to choose um, 8 and 16. Mine works right there. It's on my green line x sub 1, y sub 1. Make sure you're choosing numbers that's on your line, okay? Um, all of us can have different lines. So, um, 16 minus 19 over 8 minus 0. So we got negative 7, no, negative 3, not negative 7 over 8. So negative 3 over 8 is my slope right there. Okay, then again, draw your line. Right here, my y-intercept is 0. Um, it's it's 2.5. Um, 5, um, 7.5. So let's say 8, or 8, 8, right, 0, 8, that's your y-intercept, because then 9 and 10. Um, so that's 8, 0, 8 is your y-intercept, so y-intercept b equals to 8, and the slope. Finding slope. Slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So um, pick another point. Let's say 5 and, or oh, mine is good. 5 and what number would that be? That's 12.5, right? Let's say 11. Right, 5 and 11. 
So we do 11 minus 8 over 5 minus 0. That's 3 over 5. So your slope is 3 over 5. Equation of a line for the line of best fit then is y equals to 3 over 5x plus 8. Write an equation that would be parallel to the graph of uh, graph there. What? Okay, parallel lines is when the slope is the same. So what, depending on your slope, you write y equals 3 over 5x, and the y-intercept can be anything you want, right? So that why is it why is it no solution? So, same slope. Only the slope is the same, not the y-intercept. Only slope is the same. Okay? That's it. Hope that helps.